Hi guys, here we are in Glen Waverley and we're going to show you this six bedroom plus study French provincial home. It is absolutely enormous as you can see. Um, straight away the manicured lawn so beautiful. So we actually haven't seen this property yet so we're really excited to give you guys a tour of this amazing home. Wow, as soon as you come in, the expanse of this luxury home really hits you. Um, straight away, you've got this really high ceiling. You can see the chandelier as well as soon as you come in. Uh, floor to ceiling, six meters, so it's really big. And also you've got this really generous sized sitting room. And these couches look really, really comfy. Oh, it is. So you can imagine when your guests come over, you seat them here, give them a coffee, prepare them for the entertaining that you're gonna do in this um, amazing home. And I don't know if you've noticed the detailing on the wall. So this kind of helps bring the French provincial style from the outside exterior in. I uh, really love how they've continued that throughout the whole house. And what I'm standing on here is the parquetry flooring. So this is European oak. And again, it just gives a really luxurious style. I really love this style, it's very old school. Um, so it goes with the whole French provincial theme. From the grand entrance, you straight away come into this lovely little study. Um, you can imagine putting an iMac here, you can study away. You've got the, I love the magnifying glasses that the exterior designers put in some of these luxury homes. It's brilliant, it's a nice touch. I really love that. Um, the, the curtains, they look really lovely, don't they? Yeah, nice and white. I, I think you've, you'll realize as soon as you come in, everything is really bright and light and I really love that about this home. How's this staircase? Impressive isn't it? It's like a wrought iron curved staircase and it just has this grandest, this grandeur um, of what this home has. So that's just a lovely thing that you see as soon as you come into the home and the expanse. It's just so massive in here. Absolutely massive. From as soon as you open the front door, you see all the way into the garden. Um, look at this open plan space. You could entertain like 20, 30, 50 people in this place. The stone top island here in the kitchen is absolutely enormous. You can imagine serving your tapas here with all your guests lined up. You know, you could do a round of shots, I reckon, on this island bench. It's a very large ki kitchen with a lot of cabinetry. Um, you've got the Millet appliances, so it's both gas and induction. So you've got the best of both worlds there. And I love how they've put this long window here too. So it just kind of gives a bit more space in the kitchen. You've got, <laughs> have a look at this. Like this is just incredible. It's like, this is your gas. This is your induction. So it's a double kitchen. It's, it's really um, absolutely just out of this world how luxurious this home is. I know, it's incredible. I thought, where is the pantry? So have a look at this room here. This is like a butler style pantry. So you can just put your, all your kind of cabinets that you like here or however you want to organize it. But I've never seen anything quite like it. Such a large room, like back, like from the kitchen. It's incredible, don't you think? Can someone stay here? Yeah, this could be like another little room. You could have a, like a room off in the kitchen. So this enormous dining uh, space is incredible. And I don't know if you've noticed here, but the coffered ceilings are quite special. They exude not only luxury, but also they also come as an incredible handy tool for the acoustics in the room. So even if you're an absolute minimalist, and I think the interior design here has done quite minimal, um, you don't get the massive echo that you get in houses that don't have this. So it really um, does a lot for a house, not only that, but also in the design, because what they've done is they've, they've put the down lights inside all of those little squares. So it really gives I don't know, a sense of order in the ceiling. Now for the living space, and I love how this whole thing is just one big open plan. Um, you've got very large couches here and you could probably fit another one or even get a bigger one. Um, you've got the fireplace, a gas fireplace. You could put a TV up there if you didn't want the mirror. So there's definitely a lot of space for entertaining here and it, you'd really be the most popular person in Glen Waverley, I think, if you owned this home. Before going upstairs, I really want to show you this alfresco deck. 
And we've got these sliding doors that go all the way, so it really opens up um, the outside coming into the inside. And you've also got that on this end too, so you can open this whole thing right up. And you've got floorboards here, a massive barbecue to entertain on, and it just goes the whole length of it. Um, so there's definitely a lot of cooking and flipping of burgers I could imagine here. And with three kitchens now, we're counting, I would say, in this house. Oh my God, you could do a lot of cooking. And just stepping out here too, you can see it's got a pretty good, good size um, for the, the little backyard. It, it's small, low maintenance, but I really like it because it's still got enough room to kick the ball around with your kids or have the dog running around. And on the really hot days, you've got this lovely fan up here so it can cool you down. So I wanna show you this um, bedroom here on the ground floor. So what's really stood out for me is that it's extremely generously sized. So I'll take you into the ensuite. Um, and this really makes me think like, I'm really surprised because this is what I would imagine to de describe the, the master bedroom. So to have this as like a guest room is quite incredible because if you have a look at the ensuite, it is not small. It is really, really big. It's kind of marble too. Uh, it looks so luxurious for a guest um, ensuite. Absolutely incredible. And it's not often you get a walk-in robe in a guest bedroom too. And it is, again, very generous, massive. So your guests can bring as many suitcases as they want because they can really cram it all in in here. So now that we've seen the ground floor, I'm sure you guys are excited to see the master bedroom and what awaits us upstairs. So let's go check it out. I'm upstairs now and we've got another living space, if you can believe it, a sitting room living space. No TVs have been added in this interior design. So if you're someone who loves to watch their telly like I do, you'd whack one right there. Instead of this lovely artwork, but I'd put a really big screen TV there. So it'd be great for lounging around here. I think this property would be so beautiful with a projector as well. That's so true, a projector on this nice white wall. Um, I think it would go treat. Could be like a cinema in here. And I don't know if you've noticed the chandelier as well. As soon as you go up the stairs, if you look, you see this amazing chandelier, absolutely wonderful. And if you come down here, I can only imagine this is a lot of storage space. Look at that. That is massive amount of storage. You can put whatever you need in there. Again, this guest room comes with its own walk-in robe, its own bathroom, very similar to downstairs. I would say it's almost identical to the downstairs one in terms of size. Very generous size ensuite, beautiful marble everywhere, marble tiling throughout the whole bathroom, which I absolutely love. Uh, big shower head as well, the rain shower head, which I always love those. The interior design is done so tastefully, I think. Um, they've done a really great job with their artwork and to kind of bring out, I think the blue, there's a blue theme going on here, the blue and whites and it really suits the French provincial style that they've gone for. So that really adds to it, I think. Nice walk-in wardrobe here too. Oh yeah, the walk-in wardrobe. Again, very, very large. You know, you can fit so much in here. So imagine um, you can either have your family here, like a very large family, or if you get a lot of guests as well too. So let's have a look at this other room as well. What do we have down here? We've got another as well. Um, if you just come with me here, another walk-in kind of robe and another ensuite. So very, very similar. They've done it very tastefully, I think, how that all the rooms have that kind of same large space. So even though they've got that French provincial old school style, I love how the whole house is very modern. Um, and here you can see in this other living space, or it could be um, a bedroom too, so you could definitely convert it into a bedroom. And the lighting here is just incredible. It really gives off a vibe, I think. Um, every living space, every bedroom has its own vibe. I really like this one. It's a bit more kind of cozy. So maybe this could be the cinema room, I reckon. What do you reckon? It's a Star Wars room. Star Wars, yeah. It's definitely, it's just so modern. Um, and so I would definitely think that this would probably be the cinema room if, if I had to have one. So before we hit, we hit the master bedroom, I want to show you, I can't believe it, but there's yet another room. It just feels like there's just room upon rooms in this place. 
Um, and this one's even larger, I think, than all the other ones. So again, this one would be, you know, what I would usually be introducing as the master bedroom, but unbelievably it's not. So like I said, um, all the bedrooms seem to come with um, their own walk-in robes and ensuite bathroom. This one's more of a kind of walk-through robe, I would say, and I, I really like that about this one. Um, it remains co very consistent with its touches in all the en-suites, the floor to ceiling, uh, marble tiling, the rainwater shower. So I really like that about this place. You, you really could choose any room and you'd be happy with it. So whenever you come into a house, you want to see um, kind of rooms like the kitchen, the really exciting rooms. And one of them is the master bedroom. And how incredible is this master bedroom? It's so expansive. It's, you could fit easily two king size beds in here. Um, the furniture as well too is done really well and there's a lot of furniture in this place but it's hard to notice it because um, it's just you know there's so much space there's so much space in this house so that, let's see how comfy this oh, oh that's so comfy actually um, what a master bedroom absolutely incredible and you've got more the I would say clerestory style windows and the good thing about these windows is and it's something I didn't really know before but they let you get the outside come in, but also give you privacy. So, you know, you're in the master bedroom, you want your privacy. So the great thing about these windows is what you're seeing is you're not seeing the neighbors, you're seeing the trees. So you see the trees in the sky and I really love that. Yeah, I like the views actually. It's so nice, isn't it? It just makes you feel like you could be anywhere. Whereas when you have the windows that are really large, it can give more light in, but then you're bringing in all the kind of, you know, whatever you have to see outside, which is usually the neighbors. So I really love how they've kept the big windows in here, but they've done it really, really, really great. So the master bedroom is, it's almost like its own little house and they've done really good at creating kind of sectionals. So this section here is the really, really big um, walk-in robe. And it, it just spans the whole length of behind the, the bedroom. And it's another great way of having a lot of privacy when you're changing. And just have a look at the amount of storage you have here. Like, I don't think you'd ever fill it. You'd have to really go shopping and buy a lot of things to fill this, this place, this whole house. That's your... I think so, yeah. I think you'll, you'll easily find enough room. And you're probably wondering where the bathroom is. And we'll come to it soon. But first of all, um, this master also has its own little office. So. I know you saw an office downstairs, but if you want a bit more of a private office, um, you've got your own little office in your bedroom too. I think this room is perfect if you are touching up on something, hmm. your projector, so you have your laptop here, work on it a bit before going to bed. That's true, yeah, you can kind of bring up your work here um, at the end of the day, but you could also make this your makeup room, I think too, if you put like a makeup table here, That's you put the lighting here. I would really probably make this a makeup room, I think it would really go well, because it's right next to the bathroom. So let's have a look at the um, ensuite bathroom and it is floor to ceiling tiles really. It's um, marble tiles, the freestanding luxury tub. And you probably, I don't know if you can notice in the, in the uh, video, but it is quite I'm deep. In. I'm going in, it's quite deep. Um, I'm not so tall, but still, oh, I can imagine just relaxing in here. You can fetch me some wine, I think. and. I reckon it would just be very, very relaxing. And the shower is really, really big as well too. But I love how there's just a lot of room in here too. Just so much room. You have the him and her um, vanity unit here. Again, marble here. And the two little mirrors. I think it's really well designed. It's just so classy, this home. Like every single room, there's no room that isn't classy. Even the laundry room downstairs is actually really, really nice. So. It's just an absolute marvelous, um, you can only say luxury home. I really love when they have the in indent here um, because it's a great place to put your shampoo and stuff so you don't have to buy those really awkward things to put your, your shampoo and your body wash. So I really love when they have things like that. It's a small detail, but it's the small details that count, count and this place has a lot of great small details. Chandelier in your own... <laughs> Um, ensuite bathroom. It's very, very rare to find something like that. So again, it just, it creates this atmosphere in this place. Like you're really in um, a millionaire's house and that's the vibe that this whole house kind of brings. 
So because this house is so modern too, it has the modern features. So you have devices like this on the wall controlling certain things. It's got um, reverse um, air conditioning as well too, reverse cycle air conditioning throughout the whole house. Also it's vacuum um, ducted as well too. So ducted vacuuming. And it, it's those little things that really add to the whole luxury of this place. And you can only describe it like that. So this house is listed by Kerry Huang of JRW International, and you can find out all the details in the description box below um, if you want to own this incredible home. So we really got to thank him for letting us um, show you this tour around this absolutely luxurious place. So we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time in our next video. Bye.